Hello there, and welcome back. Let's verify that you have Docker installed properly. So, go ahead and open up a regular terminal, or the Docker Quick Start terminal, depending on how you install Docker. As an aside, in the future, I'm always going to say, open up a terminal. If you're using the Docker Toolbox, it will be up to you to open up a Docker Quick Start terminal instead. So, once you're here, just go ahead and run docker space info. That should give you back a bunch of information about your Docker installation. If you get a permission error or something else, then make sure to check out the notes for this lecture because I included a fact that covers most issues. If the fact doesn't fix it, then feel free to open up an issue in the forums and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you got back what I see here, then you're doing awesome. So the next step is to verify you have Docker Compose running as well. And you can do that by running docker dash compose space dash dash version. We won't be using Compose right away, but it's nice to see that it's working. Before continuing on with this course, please make sure that both Docker and Docker Compose are working. And since we're here talking about Docker versions, it's worth going over what will happen when Docker eventually releases a newer version than what I recorded this course against. Docker's release cycle is very aggressive, meaning they are coming out with a new version very frequently. As you know, the Edge release channel releases a new version of Docker every month. I have recorded this course against Docker 17.03, which at the time is the latest version of Docker. Docker is usually very good when it comes to backwards compatibility. For example, Docker 1.10 was released in February 2016, and Docker 1.13 was released in January 2017. For the most part, things worked across both versions, minus a few new additions. That's a shelf life of almost one year. I just wanted to make you aware of that, because I'm not going to go back and re-record every single lecture for each monthly release of Docker. Instead, I will update the installation notes to use the latest version that remains compatible with the recorded version of this course. I will also post announcement updates when a new version of Docker comes out, which will explain what's new and how it all relates to what's covered in this course. Long story short, don't get discouraged if you take this course and you see me using Docker 17.03 while a newer version of Docker happens to come out. This course will never get extremely outdated because as soon as Docker changes so much that minor announcements aren't cutting it, I'm going to prevent new students from being able to sign up to the course and then I'll lock myself into a dungeon for a few months and create a brand spanking new version of the course. At a moral level, I don't agree with providing an outdated course. I value both my time and yours very greatly. With that said, let's discover Docker with our first guided lab. For that, I'll see you in the next section.